Unit 73. Speaking and listening. Advice and opinions. Listen. <coughs> you ought to stop smoking. When I want your advice, <coughs> I'll ask for it. I only said you ought to stop. Oh, sorry. You're right. I ought to stop smoking. And you ought to get some exercise. Let's have a game of tennis this evening. This evening? No, I can't. I'm going to see the doctor. <coughs> <coughs> what do you think, Doctor? Well, Mr Lincoln, if you want my advice, I think you ought to do three things. You ought to stop smoking, you ought to get some exercise, and you ought not to work so hard. Listen and repeat. You ought to stop smoking. You ought to get some exercise. You ought not to work so hard. Listen. Oh. Perhaps we ought to have stayed at home this evening. No, we ought to have taken a different road. Or we ought to have left at a different time. Yes. There are always problems on this road. Who suggested coming this way? You did. Oh, did I? Yes. I didn't think it was a very good idea. Well, you ought to have said something. You ought to have taken the car keys, and you ought to have said, I'll drive, and I'll choose the route. I'll do that next time. <laughs> Listen and repeat. We ought to have stayed at home. We ought to have taken a different road. You ought to have said something. Refusals. Listen. <sighs> What's the matter with you, Raymond? You don't look very happy. Oh, I'm in love with Samantha. She's a wonderful girl, and I've asked her to marry me. But she won't say yes, and she won't say no. I see. I phoned her last night and asked her again. What did she say? Oh, she wouldn't discuss it. In fact, she wouldn't speak to me at all. Oh. So I went to her flat, but she wouldn't let me in. She wouldn't even open the door. Hmm. Why don't you ask her in a more romantic way? And what do you mean? Well, stand under her balcony in the moonlight and call her name. Yes. That's a great idea. Like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Oh, no, just a minute. It's not a very good idea after all. Why not? She hasn't got a balcony. Possibilities. Listen. She lives on the second floor, but she hasn't got a balcony. So I can't stand under her balcony in the moonlight. Well, um, stand under her window in the moonlight. Oh, right. OK. Call her name and sing her a romantic song. A romantic song? Yes, like, um, words by the Bee Gees, for example. You can borrow my guitar if you like. Oh, right. Good idea. Thanks, Martin. Give you all my life. I'm here if you should call to me. What was that, Raymond? I'm here if you should call to me. I see. Okay. Raymond? Yes, Samantha? Go away and don't come back. Oh. Um, does that mean you won't marry me? 
right, Raymond. Oh, I see. Well, um, if you should change your mind, phone me. You've got my number. Oh! Oh! Other expressions. Listen. Well, did she give you an answer? Samantha? Yes. What did she say? Um, she said she'd rather not marry me. Were those her exact words? I'd rather not. No. Um, her exact words were, go away and don't come back. I see. Mm. Well, that's quite a definite answer. Yes. But I still think about her all the time. I can't help it. Listen, Linda and I are going to see a film this evening. Why don't you come with us? OK. Thanks. I might as well. I've got nothing else to do. Uh, which film are you going to see? Love Story. Listen and repeat. I'd rather not. I can't help it. I might as well. Song. The Art of Conversation. <laughs> Fluency. Listen and repeat. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Really? Did you really? By the way. Listen. Are you okay, Raymond? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I was just thinking about Samantha. Mm -hmm. Between you and me, I think she made the right decision when she said no. Really? Yes. I'm not the man for her. She's very active and determined, and I'm a bit... Well, I'm not very confident. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I think so. In other words, you and Samantha are very different. That's right. Martin, did you tell Linda what happened? No. <laughs> well, it was quite funny, actually. Mm hmm You know Samantha's flat on the second floor? Uh-huh. Well, I borrowed Martin's guitar and stood under her window singing a romantic song. Did you really? Yes. It was Martin's idea. He thought she might suddenly fall in love with me. Well, anything's possible. Mm. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Never mind. Uh, by the way, Raymond, have you still got my guitar? Yes. I'll give it back to you tomorrow. It's, uh... 
Still a bit wet at the moment. <laughs> Special English. English in business. One. Listen. Good afternoon. I want to see the managing director, please. Good afternoon. Have you an appointment? Of course. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I hadn't. What is your name, please? Duncan. Oh, just a moment, please. Miss Corby, I have a Mr. Duncan here to see Mr. Grant. He says he has an appointment. Uh, yes, yes, I will. Uh, Mr. Duncan, would you take a seat, please? Mr. Grant's secretary will be down in a moment. Thank you. I hope she won't be long. I haven't much time. She's on her way now. Good. Uh, here she is. Good afternoon, Mr. Duncan. I'm Elizabeth Corby, Mr. Grant's secretary. Would you like to see round the factory first? Uh, yes, I would. Now, this is our office block. Mm -hmm. We have all the administrative departments here. Sales, accounts, personnel, market research and so on. Uh, what's that building opposite us? That's the warehouse where the larger items of office equipment are stored. Hmm. If I ordered a desk today, how long would it be before I got delivery in Scotland? I think perhaps you'd better speak to our works manager, Mr. Fielding. You'll meet him when we go over to the factory. We'll go there now. Synopsis Dialogue Jeff, there's a quiz in this magazine that's just right for you. Uh-huh. The pop and rock quiz. Oh, right. Ask me some questions. Mm. Number one. Which song was a hit for Carole King in 1962 and again in 1972? It might as well rain until September. <laughs> right. Uh, number two. Which song was a hit for Elvis Presley in 1962, for Andy Williams in 1970, and for the Stylistics in 1976? I can't help falling in love. <laughs> right. Numbers three, four and five. Who had hits with these songs? I can't help it in 1962. Johnny Tillotson. Right. The girl can't help it in 1957. Little Richard. <laughs> right. She'd rather be with me in 1967. The Turtles. <laughs> right. Number six. Numbers 18, 19 and 20. From which songs are these words taken? You might as well face it, you're addicted to love. Oh, that's an easy one. Addicted to Love by Robert Palmer. <laughs> right. I'm here if you should call to me. I'm here if you should call to me. Words by the Bee Gees. Right. And finally, I'd rather be a hammer than a nail. I'd rather be a hammer than a nail. If I could by Paul Simon. <laughs> right. Well, your score is 20 out of 20. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, scores. 14 to 17. Congratulations, you're a pop and rock music expert. 18 to 20. Brilliant. If you should ever decide to change your job, you ought to become a disc jockey. <laughs> <laughs>